All right. Hey, Maddie. Uh, um, do you, Border War, I mean, do you, do you dial it up at all at practice, or does anything about you change? Not necessarily the way you coach, but intensity-wise, or maybe your message, or anything about how you would normally do things? I, 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 would, I would think so. Some, you know, we haven't practiced since you know we played on Tuesday, so so we had to take we had to take yesterday off, so we only get two days to prepare. So uh, it'll be turned up today and tomorrow from a preparation standpoint, without question. And I hope the players sense that there's a a a, a, a bit more urgency in in how we go about our business. But you know, I I, I don't spend a lot of time trying to dial it up when I think. It can easily be dialed up on their own without my help. I know you mentioned the energy had gone down a bit after, uh, after the UConn games. What are your expectations in terms of how much the crowd is going to bring it this weekend? Well, we, I, I, our, our whole energy level with our players wasn't near as high. And of course, you know, everything is, you know, what goes up must come down, I think they say. So uh, uh, I imagine it'll be uh, uh, at, at a very high level from a fan standpoint on Saturday. You know, I just came down here for the first time. I can't believe the number of kids out there camping out. Uh, uh, I don't know how many groups. I think we had like 105 groups the very first day. So uh, uh, Wednesday morning, like at 6 a.m., I think there was like 105 groups. So. So uh, I'm sure, this, I'm sure the, the students will be ready and they have a tendency to kind of drag everybody else along with them. T-Rob will have his jersey retired on Saturday. Talk to us about the, the process of deciding this game for this moment for him. There wasn't a process. You know, they told me that, you know, he, of course everybody knows he's gonna have his jersey retired. He's first team All-American and, and a player of the year in the league. So, I mean, he, he met every criteria, uh, uh, but, what fit his schedule, uh, you know, being, being overseas, what fit his schedule, and the fact that it was a Missouri game, I think he wanted it to fit his schedule. Uh, uh, so, you know, I don't know that he was given an abundance of choices. It was more like, hey, you know, we, we want to do this, we want to do it for the Missouri game, are you interested? I'm in. You know, it, it was more like that than it probably was, hey, here's, Here's four choices. Which one best fits you? We probably told him what fits us, and he he was in total agreement. Do you have a favorite memory of being his coach here? Uh, you know, he was so good. Uh, I would say the one that sticks out in my mind is is after the three tragedies uh, that occurred. He took some time away. And his first game back, if I'm not mistaken, was K-State. And he was the best player on the floor, you know, without practicing for a week or whatever. And, you know, it was just, it was kind of like KJ's deal the other day. It was just something that was bigger than him. Uh, 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 but there's a lot of memories, you know. He, 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 he uh, we, 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 we rode him pretty hard his last year. And, and uh, you know, for him to finish second in the National Player of the Year voting, behind Anthony Davis in, in basically every poll. It's pretty remarkable considering he played eight minutes a game as a freshman. His final year here was almost perfect from a coach standpoint, would you say? He was so consistent. Yeah, I don't know that I was <clears throat> quite perfect, but 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 uh, it would have been about that if we'd have won our last game. Uh, but yeah, he was great. He was great. Uh, uh, at that time, I you know you don't know that of any any guy that's had really much of a better year than what he had that I had coached, <clears throat> but since then you know Frank being National Player of the Year and and Oach and Jalen and you know what what they were able to do uh, would rival it. But but you know maybe just from an individual standpoint, Frank may be the only one that we've had that would probably have a year that would that would have rivaled T. Robs that particular. With KU Missouri, how do you like the way it's worked out one game a year? It used to be you could go to their place, then you come here for a revenge game or whatever. Get to, go like to get to go to their place. You make it sound like it's a vacation <laughs> hot spot. Uh, 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 uh. What do you think of the way it's worked out? Uh, 
you know, uh, um, I'd say okay. You know, the thing about it is, it may would have been different, but even the leagues, the way that they are now, is there a guarantee you, you play them twice a year anyway? So, 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 uh, like, I don't know. Will we continue to play Kansas State twice every year? Are they going to move that around? I don't, I don't know exactly how scheduling is going to go. Uh, uh, but, uh, I, you know, I think it's worked out, worked out fine. Considering it, it is different though. It seems like to me, uh, you know, you could certainly uh, feel tension, uh, hatred. A lot of the things that go along with a, a, a rivalry, such as this one, that's been so good for so many years with the the, the ten year break or whatever, uh, uh, the you know I, I I sense when it was in the league and the games were played within three or four weeks of each other, it just seemed to me like maybe there was more into it then. And, and, all, and always late in a basketball season, the intensity is ratcheted up uh, higher than it is in early December because uh, uh, the stakes are higher. But it's it's still darn good, though. I mean, it's still really good. Do you think this is a huge game for Parker? Yeah, I think this will be a big game for Parker from a, 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 a you know, emotional standpoint, knowing that he went to University of Missouri and started his career there. And, I think spent two years there, if I'm not mistaken. So, so uh, yeah, I'm sure it'll be big, but it'll be, you know, bigger for Parker than Juan, you know, growing up in Columbia. I mean, I mean, so they'll, they'll be, they'll be, uh, it's a big game for, definitely for some, some guys on both teams, I'm sure. Coach, I know you have conference games coming up a little bit later, but will this game tell you any more about your team than obviously when it matters most for conference play, will this game give you any more indication of we might have to work on, or what you guys might have more strengths in. Uh, well, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure it can. You know, this is this will probably be the first team that that uh, uh, creates havoc defensively in the manner in which they do. Most of the teams we played so far, they're pretty traditional, and I think Missouri is a little bit less traditional in that way. So, you know, you got to players have to make plays rather than running plays. Uh, uh, at least I think that's. That's kind of going to be part of it, but uh, you know, you, you bring up a point, but you, you could also, well, Indiana will do the same thing, and you know, Yale game will do the same thing, and playing Wichita State, Kansas City will do the same thing. You can definitely say it about Indiana because the first true protest of the season, you know, uh, uh, but but uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I think I think it'll be a, a good indicator. Uh, but it's still early in the season. I don't know if we can get too hung up on that stuff right now. Coach, can I circle back to uh, T. Rob again real quick? Um, what are the examples that he brought to your team, your program, that can continue on now for the current guys with his intensity and his energy and maximizing every ounce of talent that he had? He brought it every night. And same with Frank, obviously, but since he's here this weekend. Uh, now, what can, what can these guys take from him? Guy like you know what? It, 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 it's probably it's, it's a good question. Uh, the answer is not as much as they should, because 2012 was a long time ago. I mean, you're talking about kids that were in, you know, fourth grade, third grade, you know, living in a different part of the country, wouldn't even know who Thomas Robinson was before they got here. You know, that kind of stuff. Uh, 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 you know, I get a kick out of it when Danny's name's mentioned sometimes. These guys know of Danny just because they've been in Kansas. They wouldn't even know of Danny if they hadn't come here to Kansas. Uh, uh, and we all know how good he was. And of course, that's been many years ago. But but uh, I, th I think, the, the you know, when I think of Thomas, I think of exactly just how you described him. He, he was a, a warrior that got as, as much as he possibly could out of what he had. And, and uh, I also think the, the uh, the added uh, personal things that he had to go through why, he, why he's here adds to the respect and the toughness that you equate with him as a, as a player. Bill's early sample size still, I realize, but uh, Hunter and Kevin looking and posting numbers like, you know, all American, both of them, just <coughs> had bring back memories of other duos that, 
you know, finished with those kind of numbers as all Americans and your thoughts on that? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know that, have, have we had anybody one, two, that would be like that? Uh, uh, I'm not sure we have, you know. You, you, I don't know if you put them quite in the Heinrich Collison. Yeah, that's a uh, <coughs> uh, 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 Of course, I didn't have those guys, but I don't know if you put them quite in that that group or even the Gooden Heinrich Collison uh, uh, group. But but uh, uh, you know they, they're off to good starts. But but you hit it on the head. The sample size is too small. You know those guys. It's it's one thing to average twenty a game uh, uh, when 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 you're playing. A good, a really good schedule, probably as good a, a, a high level schedule as anybody's played thus far. But you also throw in some buy games that that definitely uh, create a situation that that is, is that real. Uh, uh, and a lot of times it is, but a lot of times it's it's it, it inflates things. So I, I, I think I, I still think until we get through non-conference play or whatever and, and start conference play will probably be a true indication of numbers because numbers always go down as the season goes on. Especially when you play in a league that you could play people twice, which we don't do that as many times this year, but when you play people twice, very rarely do you score as many points the second time that you play. I don't know if it's like that with the Chiefs, I have no idea, but it, but it seems like this, the scouting is so much better after you play them once in the second time. I mean, in the first time. With Dewan, um, you know, you mentioned it being a big game for him, obviously, too. He's had it twice, though. I, how have you felt he's responded to that game? Cause it, in this game? Yeah. I thought he was really good in Columbia last year. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 did. I can't remember. I, I didn't watch the game before. Uh, but we played so well in, in both games, to be honest with you. Uh, uh, but I think I think Juan's done a good job uh, 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 or did a very good job last year in this particular game. And he's going to have to be good again because, you know, he's going to have to play the vast majority of the minutes uh, against a team that will change defenses and pressure and do different things uh, to make you work every possession uh, uh, and because they, they will make us feel them every possession defensively, even if it's token press and not hot. They're, they're, they're going to make you, make you feel them. So uh, this will be a big game for him and a game in which he needs to be really good. I know he talked last year about you made a big emphasis that we're going to go over there, but this isn't Dewan against Missouri; it's Kansas yeah. against Missouri. Yeah. Did you have to talk to him about keeping his head so that game didn't get too big going uh, against? I'm home sure. Right. Team? I, I think it's a little different when you go back home uh -huh. uh, than it is when home comes to you. Uh, when you go back home, it's not just family; it's friends, it's your boys, it's 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 a lot of different things going on. When you when, when when home comes to your place, it's 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 usually family, you know. It's just a different feel. So we'll talk about it. And you bring up a good point. I need I, I got to do a lot of talking between now and Saturday. But yeah, we'll def we'll definitely discuss these things. What's the kind of message you're giving to the younger guys who haven't experienced the rivalry like this? Well, I haven't talked to them, you, you, you guys. We were off. So so uh, when you're off, you can't have them yet. So so. Uh, uh, but yeah, we'll go over uh, how much it means to both parties and, and uh, uh, far more so than players. I, I, I think players sometimes uh, uh, don't understand how much it means to other people. Where other people and fan bases uh, 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 expect the players to understand uh, uh, when they're just seeing it for the first time. And, and it, it's not like that when we play Missouri or when Missouri plays Kansas and you look at the schedule, you know, everybody's circling this game, that game, whatever. Uh, it's circled as a huge game. But back when you were playing them twice in conference play, I said, oh, geez, we're, we're going to Missouri and it's oh, it's a, a second last game of the season. This game will be for all the marbles. That's what you think about when you're in the same league. You don't think about that when you're playing in early December. I'm just wondering, will you have anybody come back Saturday and, and talk to the guys about the rivalry and, and what it what it means? Well, and, Thomas is here, right? right. But I mean, like any, so he's getting his jersey retired Saturday. <laughs> so so, and we chose this game, you know. So so so, uh, no, it's, I, I'm sure Thomas will, but Thomas is going to have uh, many of his teammates here as well. So. Uh, uh, 
the guys will the, the guys will understand. The guys will understand. Anything else? Thanks, Coach. Let's go. Okay. Thank you.